Hello everyone, I'm Yi Tao. It's my pleasure to share my work reducing graph-based social optimization, a distillation against the social graph network with you. With the rapid development of e-commerce and social media platforms, the computer system plays an important role in eliminating information overload and have become indispensable tools for many businesses. For example, Amazon, Flickr, TikTok, Alibaba, Yo. All these products require recommendation systems to provide service. Collaborative filtering is the most widely used technique in recommender systems, which on user and item embeddings based on historical user interactions. It assumes that behaviorally similar users would activate similar preferences on items. However, as most users only have limited behavior data, models that only rely on historical interactions suffer from the data sparse issue. Luckily, with the rapid development of social networks, more and more people like to build social relationships and share their preference on these platforms. As well spotted by the social influence theory, users usually acquire and disestimate information through those around them, implying that the underlying social connections can provide valuable information. Since most of the information in recommender systems essentially has graph structure, and graph neural network has superior ability in graph representation learning. gn based social recommendation has emerged as a promising direction and attracts increasing attention. Nevertheless, we argue that existing methods have in depth thinking about their assumptions. As illustrated by some existing works, node embeddings consist of low frequency true pictures and high frequency noises and JN models correspond to perform low-pass filtering on graph signals. However, before performing graph convolution on graph structures, the social influence theory is not well studied for JN-based social recommendation scenarios. Our main contributions in this paper are as follows. We provide in-depth revisiting of the social influence theory by conducting statistical analysis on four widely used social recommendation data sets. We propose metrics to evaluate the social information, which can provide guidance about whether and how to leverage social connections among users to construct recommendation models. We propose that the solution has the social graph network to improve the social recommendation performance. To the best of our knowledge, we are the first to introduce the knowledge to test this solution technique using models that rely on different data sources in this task and we perform extensive experiments on real-world exercise to show that the proposed model consistently outperforms the state-of-art competitors. We perform statistical analysis on four widely used recommendation data sites. Yop is an online location-based social network. Flickr is a who trust whom online image-based image social sharing platform. Share and opinions are taken from popular social networking websites that allow users to read items, browse and write reviews. We perform statistical analysis to verify that wider socially connected users tend to have similar preference on the above size. Specifically, we care about three research questions. One, compared with two random users, whether socially connected users have a higher probability of having similar preference? If so, how much is the probability difference? Two, what is the probability that two users with similar preferences have a social relationship? Whether the amount of information provided by social connections is significant? Three, what kind of user pairs are more likely to be socially connected? Does it have a similar trend with the message propagation size of GM based models? We define two users as a valid user pair if they interacted with at least one same atom. So on the first RQ, we propose three metrics, valid ratio, valid social ratio, and social diffuse level. Evaluate how well the data size satisfies the social influence theory. The specification specific calculation method is shown in the formula. Generally speaking, if the social diffuse level is high, we can conclude that the socially connected users do have a higher probability to have similar preference. To illustrate the relevance of these metrics and social recommendation tasks, we conducted experiments and compared the results among the following methods. First, 
matrix factorization that's directly project a user or item into a vector. Second, user user JC in that perform graph convolution on the social graph to simulate the recursive social diffusion. Last, user item JC in that performs graph convolution on the user item graph to exploit the higher order connectivity from historical interactions. The result proving that performing node embedding smoothing on the user item graph always annoys node features and enhance the predictive performance. By contrast, smoothing the user embedding with the social graph hurts the performance on opinions. The social diffuse level is low, meaning that the probability that two users with social relationships a similar preference is not significantly higher than that of two random users. Therefore, restricting socially connected users to have similar embeddings will limit the model's expressive power. So under the second IQ, we calculate the ratio of valid user pairs that are socially connected among all valid user pairs. We assume that social connections will become critical for training a robust model when the user item graph is sparse in social graph contains high quality information. The social graph provides rich information and the user item interaction is fast. Information provided by the social connections will be critical for building a robust recommendation model. We conclude we conduct experiments with different amounts of training data. The results show that user item JCM performs poorly when there are few training data. As the amount of training data increases, its performance increased rapidly. This result shows that only when there is sufficient training data, a satisfactory result can be obtained by performing graph convolution on the user item graph. By contrast, user user GC always brings benefits on data size with high social diffuse level, regardless of the training data proportion. Therefore, we conclude that when the training data is fast, High quality social information is essential for training a recommendation model. And when there is sufficient training data using the user item graph to smooth the user embedding, you already obtain better performance. So after the third IQ, we analyze the correlation between message propagation process on the user item graph and the social connections. There are two most widely used social graph convolution operations on the user item graph. One is performing graph convolution with standard JSON with symmetric normalization. Another is performing graph convolution with a mean aggregator that averages neighborhood messages. So we continue the unusual representations and analyze a two layer model. The graph convolution operation can be regarded as performing embedding smoothing over user pies and have overlap on the indexed atoms. We saw all valid users according to the proportion ways and follow the ratio of valid user pairs that are socially connected. The results show that forming graph convolution with the mean aggregator is more in line with the social influence theory. The message propagation between users on user item graph have the following property. The number of co-interacted atoms, the more, the larger. Popularity of co-interacted atoms, less popularity the larger. And active users are less affected by each atom they interact with, but their influence on other users will not be reduced by their increased activity. According to these conclusions, we propose our distillation enhanced social graph network. The basic idea of JN models is to smooth node features. The key is to choose a suitable filter. It is natural to construct the filter in two ways with user atom graph and social graph. First, building a filter according to a single graph, but only using one graph can not well utilize all available information. Second, combining the two graphs to build a unified filter. However, directly combining two graph structures without imposing restrictions on the model will quickly result in overfitting and cannot fully release its capabilities. We observe we have noticed that although social relationships can reflect preference similarity, there are lots of differences between the filters constructed according to these two graphs. Using these two filters separately, we result in models that have different characteristics. We propose to employ the knowledge distillation technique 
to, to take advantage of this feature to improve the performance. Perform knowledge distillation can empower them to learn each other's complementary knowledge. To make full use of all available data, we propose to train a model that integrates both graph and the main model and train two auxiliary models that rely on the user atom graph or the social graph respectively. These three models are, trained, are defined as twin JSON, region JSON, and social JSON. The training strategies are as follows. The core of JN models is how to aggregate messages from neighborhood. As recommendation models, most works are embedding a fine transformation and nonlinear activation with a combined function. However, some recent studies have illustrated that these complex operations would be burdensome for collaborative building, while a simple propagation would achieve better performance. Following the design philosophy, we propose to use simple structures to implement our model. Most existing models on the user item graph must both the user and item embedding. However, we argue that performing representation smoothing over item nodes will hardly bring benefits and sometimes even limit the expressive power and reduce the performance. Although there are certain similarities between multiple items purchased by the same user, the use of JSON for smoothing will impose two strong restrictions on item embeddings. Therefore, we only perform injecting smoothing for user nodes in reaching JSON. According to the result of IQ3, employing the main aggregator instead of the standard JSON is a metric normalization in social JSON. And we combine these models to get our twin JSON. After clear scrap convolution operation, we further combine these embeddings obtained at each layer from the final user representations. We get predictions by performing inner product of users and items' final representations. We regard the recommendation task as a binary classification task, as we could only observe positive feedbacks with huge missing observed values. We randomly sample it or observe feedbacks for each positive feedback as based on negative samples. And we use the cross entropy loss distill knowledge from each other. We conduct experiments on three data sites with high social diffusion level and compare our model with the state-of-the-art methods. Our model performs well under all circumstances, so the result demonstrates the effectiveness of our design. And we noted that methods with complex structures have poor performance due to the severe overfitting issues. This model assumes there are raw node features. However, since some social recommendation datasets do not have this information, we learn user and item representations from scratch. Under this setting, models that remove the redundant complex operations achieve better performance. Based on these experimental results, we conclude that JN based models should concentrate on message propagation with simple structures. To verify the superiority of our design choice, which provide a comparison of the proposed model and alternative design choices. Constructing different models by changing the embedding dimensions is the dominant key strategy. However, the result shows that although it can slightly improve the performance, our design is better. The result of transform proves that our simple structure can outperform more complex ones that tend to overfitting. And the symmetric norm result proves mean JSON is better for aggregated messages on user atom graphs. The result of atom smooth just perform mean graph convolution to smooth item embedding increase computational load without improving performance. When there are more items and fewer users, such as shell, it's even hurts the performance. To further illustrate the effectiveness of our KD technique design, we try to train model under our design framework separately without introducing the KD loss. The results show that introducing the technology distillation technique consistently yields significant improvement. And we can observe that models relying on different graphs each have their own advantages under different scenarios. Provide a more comprehensive underlying, we examine the effects of important hyperparameters that control the knowledge distillation losses. 
the result shows that when the KD loss is too small, the training process of each model is not sufficiently regularized. Therefore, we still tend to overfit. When the constraints are too strong, capabilities of the main model will be limited by the models with insufficient capabilities resulting in performance decrease. This concludes my speech. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Uh, are there any questions from the audience from Ye Tao? All right. Uh, so are you here? Yeah. Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, yes. Uh, so, so I had a question. So it looks like that you consider both uh, influence and homophily in terms of a user a user graph. And you also have this uh, smoothing filter bipartite user item uh, graph. Um, and I think that kind of describes some sort of confounding effect. I was just uh, curious, have you looked at whether, like which one plays a more important role, um, a user user or a user? I, I understand that in your RQ1, you mentioned that user item is more important, but in your filters, have you looked to try to distinguish uh, for what kind of users this is more important? Yeah, both some users that contact with little atoms Mm, the users that share the same atoms interaction history will be very important to to predict the their interests. So, so the activity of users was actually influential on the prediction result. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, I see. Thank you.